Hi there, and happy holidays. I'm meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller. Let's use science and look at how you can keep, if you celebrate it, your Christmas tree watered sufficiently without having to bend over and make sure all of the water gets in and not spilling it on the floor. Here's the science, and let's get into it. First of all, it's a simple device. It takes a jug, some plastic tubing, and that's all you need, folks. Let me pull this apart for a moment and break the vacuum that was established, and you can see the water coming out. If you get a jug, a milk jug or whatever, all you have to do is simply take it and poke a hole. I like to use scissors to do that. Just simply put it in there and gently and carefully, of course, mind you, put a hole in there and then force that tubing in to the inside of your jug. Now, part two, fill it up with water, and as you fill it up with water, you you want to make sure there's a good seal around this tubing. You want to put it into the base of the tree so that you can water it. You'll put your cap on your jug after you've filled it with water and squeeze it to push that water into the actual tray that holds the water for your tree. That is going to help to establish a connection between the jug and the reservoir of water for your tree. If you take your cap off and put it back on, water will flow constantly from this device over to your reservoir. One of the things though, you wanna make sure you put a mark here at the top of your reservoir so you don't have water that spills over. But doing this will ultimately allow you to fill this with water every once in a while versus this with water all the time. Let's go over some of the science relative to why this happens, and we can do that outside. Let's talk a little bit about the science of why this happens. Conventional wisdom for a long time used to think that air pressure played a role in distributing water from a reservoir to another reservoir. That's not the case, actually. Recent science and recent research has indicated that gravity and the ability of water to bond to water through hydrogen bonding is the only reason why this happens. So the water grabs another water molecule and pulls it into the tree reservoir reservoir from the jug. That is the science of why it will distribute water from your jug over to your tree and keep things healthy. Keep that tree healthy and keep it going and enjoy the holidays. I'm meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller.